Hello everyone, this is Caitlin with Photobella.com. In this video, I'll be showing you how to put together your August basic gray kit, which is called First School Days. You can see the final, pro final the finished product right here. You'll receive this kit with the monthly membership found at Photobella.com. In the kit, you'll receive all the paper that you see there that you need, plus some, as well as all the embellishments, such as the stickers, the die cuts, and also the tabs. In addition to the supplies you'll receive in your kit, you're going to need a few other items, such as your favorite adhesive. I'll be using a photo glue stick. You'll need a ruler and a pencil to take your measurements, a white opaque pen, and a felt tip pen for your journaling. You'll need a trimmer, scissors, and scalloped scissors. And you'll also need a one inch circle punch, as well as you'll just need one piece of tape to put them together while we're putting it together. And of course, don't forget your photos. You're going to need five photos trimmed down to four by four. Alright, gather your supplies and let's get started. Okay, to start, you're going to want to cut the tear strips off the bottom of each of your papers. It's just easier to do it all at the beginning of the project, that way it's all done. So you're going to take two of the fencing on the red side and tape them together on the back. And then take two university on the light blue side and cut them 11 and a half inches by 11 inches. Okay, then when you're done cutting those, we're going to adhere them horizontally so they are flush with the center seam and centered top to bottom. Just in the middle of your background layout. Okay, now take two sheet, your two sheets of Dean's List on the tablet side. Trim the right 3 inch by 12 inches from each sheet and set those two sheets aside. You'll use them later. And then take your leftovers and cut a 9 inch by 7 inch block from each of them. Then we're going to turn it over to the argyle side and adhere them on each page horizontally one and a half inches down from the top and flush in the center seam. Alright, now get your debate team paper on the eyeglasses side and trim two nine inch by one and a half inch strips of that paper. Then we're going to adhere those directly underneath the argyle pattern. Okay, now get your letterman's jacket on the stripe side. I have two uh, nine inch by half inch strips cut and we're going to just adhere those underneath the eyeglasses. Now take your letterman's jacket on the black side and we're going to cut two 9 inch by 1 quarter inch strips. And with those strips we're going to cut with our scalloped scissors down the edges. And then we're just going to adhere those directly underneath the striped pattern. Okay, and black, back to your uh, letterman's paper on the black side. You're going to cut two 11 and a half inches by one inch strip. And you're going to adhere those horizontally on each page, flush with the center seam and two inches down from the top of the layout. So they go across each of the sheets that you've put down. Okay, 
Okay, and once those are adhered, you're going to draw a dashed line across the middle of each of those black strips with your white opaque marker or pen. And then you're also going to dash along the top of both of the black scalloped strips at the bottom. And also draw a solid line along both of the black one inch strips. Okay, now get your two 3 inch by 12 inch tablet strips that we cut earlier and cut one of those down to 3 inch by 10 inch. And we're going to adhere that vertically to the right page so that it starts at the top of the black strip and continues to the bottom of the layout and is about five and a half inches from the right side. Right next we're going to get our element sticker sheet. You're going to find the gold and cream scallop circle rings and we're going to back the cream circle with black paper and the gold one with our tablet paper and just cut out the excess so that you just have the circle. And then we're going to cut a 1 fourth inch off the top edge of the gold one so that there's a flat edge that we can line up with the top of the layout. And you're going to line that up 5 inches from the left side and adhere that down. And then you're going to put the black circle just so it just overlaps the gold ring and is approximately one inch down from the top of the layout. Alright, now go to your pieces package and locate the book label die cut. And you're going to trim out the books with your scissors and adhere that towards the bottom of the black circle. Okay, then you're going to locate your red arrow sticker from the element sheet and adhere that to the bottom of the books with the arrow pointing right. And then you're going to get your star circle from the pieces pack of die cuts and adhere that to the left of the arrow. Okay, then get your letterman's jacket on the black side and cut a four and a half inch square piece out of that. And you're going to adhere your four inch by four inch focal photo to that piece of black paper. And you can pick which one which photo you'd like to use as your focal photo. And then you're going to go to the office tabs package and get the notes and the pi r squared tab and put those on the upper right of the mat just above the picture. And then you're going to adhere that block to the right page at a slight angle so it just overlaps the tablet strip and is about in the middle of the layout. Then you're going to go to the pieces package and get the light blue numbers die cut. You're going to trim a quarter of an inch off the top and adhere that to the bottom of the photo as shown. Okay, then just add your remaining photos in a rough line across to span both pages. Okay, next get the gold pencil sticker from the element sheet and adhere that to the bottom of the focal photo as you'd like it. And get your circle punch and punch five circles from the tablet paper. And you're going to add grade numbers or whatever you'd like to add. You could add ages too to each circle and adhere those to the photos where you would like them. Okay, then we're going to add our title to the black strip on the right page across the tablet paper as well. And you can mix up the red and the white and just make it how you like it. Then you can just add your journaling to the tablet strip and the tablet circle. And there is our finished layout. I hope you had fun. Come back soon. This has been brought to you by Photobella.com.